welcome back to GearWire.com. This is the MDA DX10, a new plugin from MDA. I think this has actually been out for a while, but I found this while looking at the new image line edition of uh, the DX10 VST, which is a little more complicated than this. However, this is a completely free plugin, so it's very useful for those of you out there who want that early, early uh, DX FM synthesis sound. Uh, here I have a scratch pad loaded, but there are plenty of presets loaded up. I can load up a bass. And you'll see it has that typical FM sound. Not quite as deep and uh, full formed as an analog sound. But on the other end of that, these are also very, very clean sounds. So they can cut through really well over an analog bass or an analog drum kick or any sort of drum kit you might have lined up because they have that very, very clean uh, cut right through a mix type of sound. I can show you some harpsichord we have here. Now one thing to look at is that we have our attack, decay, and release here. There's also not a normal sustain, but there is under the mod envelope a mod sustain and mod release along with mod decay. Um, your mod level here. Mod velocity, vibrato, octave control, fine tuning, waveform, mod through, LFO rate, and fine and coarse tuning. Um, not the most sophisticated control in the world, but it really gets the job done when you're just trying to use the, some of the sounds that are available in here. Attack. Our decay, of course, creates a decay and a release. And of course, all these can be automated. Course tuning allows me to retune the oscillators. And again, it is a very coarse tuning, so if we want to fine tune those, we use this here. My mod envelope. Velocity. Here we have vibrato. Octave control. We have fine tune control. Then there's the waveform control, which changes up the waveform. Mod through, which is sort of a dry wet essentially for the mod envelopes, and then LFO rate. Looking at this really quickly, you'll notice we can also have uh, drum patches out of here. It's log drum, synthetic tom. Reed instruments, a steel drum, and a harp. Along with a variety of piano patches, organs, tinkle, and sitar. Of course, these don't really sound like the real thing. They're meant to emulate the original DX10 synthesizer, which was originally from Yamaha. And uh, there are also several other emulators of this. But for now, this is the DX10 synthesizer from MDA. And I'm Bill Holland on GearWire.com.